So all right, we're going to be showing you a uh, new video here of a 17,810 in one and a 60 in one combo. We have uh, a wall wall mounted TV and the cocktail table here. I'm going to do a little uh, demo of how these guys work. There's a lot of options and uh, sorry functions and options pretty much yeah of uh, on this machine. So I want to show off a little bit of what what it's capable of. Uh, we're, we show here's a HDMI cord. We have a 30 foot HDMI cord that we're uh, we showing what it does. Um, I just turned on the machine. It has the a 60 in one system, so you can play head to head 60 games. You can play Donkey Kong, Miss Pac Man, uh, Galaga, all kinds of games here. Uh, there's a 60 in one, obviously, and you could actually upgrade it to 412 games. But today we're going to show you the the 60 in one. It has the Galaga, Miss Pac Man, Frogger, and Donkey Kong on it along with a bunch of others. So I'm going to show you the uh, finish on this guy. There it is, a system, system initiated, so that's up and going. We have the, uh, the Galaga side here. This is our second player side. And uh, we have our 17,001 side. So you, you can have, you have an eight-way joystick and six buttons per player, which will allow you to play the Street Fighter, um, Defender, Mortal Kombat, all the games are usually required five to six buttons to play. And so here's here's the cool feature is that you can play uh, Miss Pac-Man head to head here. I'm gonna show you that, show you how that works here. So you have a page one of ten. As you scroll down, you go to page two of ten, three of ten. Just keep scrolling down. You can find all your games. Pretty much pick the game you like and jump right into it and uh, get, get yourself a game in. So, so we're going to go right back to the beginning. So we have Ms. Pac-Man here. Let's start up a game here so you can see how that works. You see how the, the controls are real smooth. The joysticks actually pop back, right back in place where they're supposed to. All, all the volume is adjustable as well on this game, on the system. It can be adjusted via, uh, there's, a, there's a hard pot, an orange pot on the control system on the 16 one. And you can also control it with the, uh, the on-game menu screen, so it's all pretty much controlled virtually. So that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you, show you guys how this game, this game works and how it runs and uh, to show you some of the options that we have. I'm going to try to spend the lives on this uh, <laughs> on this Pac-Man game. And to show you, uh, while, while that's going on, I'll have to uh, show you some of the other features. So the other features involve the HDMI wire, right? HDMI wire that comes out. That HDMI wire comes up to the wall-mounted TV, going back to that. You see here that we have the uh, game two of 3025. You see that we have uh, a few lists here of 1,315 games, 1,940 games. These are all the game boards we used to sell here. And then what we did is we compiled them all into one. Uh, this is the classic game boards, 150 games. This is the one that has all the, pretty much every game that the 60 in one has. But it's now on a wall mounted uh, system. So it's pretty cool. You can, you can take advantage of whatever uh, size screen you have wall mounted. Anything from 24 inch up to 70 inch to uh, a projected monitor. So, or a projector, I'm sorry, a ceiling mounted projector or whatever. So you have games like, like Asteroids. And what's nice, nice is that you get to uh, see a, a screenshot of the game before you play it. So you have Asteroids, you have uh, just a ton of games. You have Burger Time. The Centipede, Donkey Kong, you have uh, Discs of Tron, which is a pretty popular game there. Um, Elevator Action, Double Dragon, there it is Double Dragon, <laughs> Frogger, you have the Galaga 88, which is a game that we've, we've uh, been asked about pretty often. You have Gauntlet, Pulls and Ghosts, Golden Axe, Gunsmoke, Hypersports, I mean, there's just, there's just a ton of games here. So that, that's the classic, uh, the classic list. We, the next list is the fighters. So this kind of allows you to, to navigate and find the games that you're looking for on the fly, in a way, in a fly, because there's so many games that 
Uh, it's really hard to find something right away. Well, with these smaller lists, with the 339 list, it's pretty easy. But when you get to the 17,810, uh, there's there's a way of jumping in and saying, hey, you know what? There's uh, we're gonna add them to our favorites list, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute here. So there's just there's just a lot of games, and if you want to, you can go scrolling downward, 66 of 39. So if you want to go one at a time, you just all you do is you push down on your joystick. If you want to go uh, faster, just push to the right on your joystick, and you can see it cruising down uh, by 10. It's pretty much a full page at a time. So you see that it reached down pretty quick, pretty quickly there. Uh, we're gonna go to the other option, laser. This this is one of uh, one of the options. Something we're gonna come back to in a bit. Um, this this is something that we like to use. This menu and game list here, we like to use it as a uh, is a private or a uh, custom list maker. <laughs> so what we do is we, we we delete all of the games that are on there now, which are pretty much videos and stuff that really don't really work too well. What we do is we just put them on there to fill it, make a filler space to create that, that file. So they're really not doing anything there. So we, we use that for uh, in, in the future. So I'll show you that in a bit. We're going to go to the all game list, which is the 17,810 one. And as you can see, it has, shows that 88 games. Um, so yeah, th this guy takes about 15 minutes to scroll from one end to the other. Uh, and as you can see, it has every revision of every game ever made, even, and it's kind of funny to say, but even the bootleg version. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of different games. Uh, obviously, it has 17,110. Um, but again, there's a lot of, there's a ton of games that are revised. There's games like Vector Screen Games. That are just, this, this is the game list and for the, the game board with the game list. That is for that guy, or that person, I should say, that uh, that is looking for a specific game. Um, there's just so much stuff in here. It's every game pretty much ever made. It has. It even has uh, some pinball machine games. They don't work, but they show up. Um, they require their own system. But uh, anyway, and you could fly down here and see some other stuff. Uh, so, so get into what what we're normally used to seeing here. Like some other oh, go some alien games. Uh, Alley Master, there's just just tons of and tons of games. Uh, and I keep going down. There's a one of our fan beast uh, favorite is Altered Beast. Just kind of cool. We've been getting a lot of calls about that. Um, let's see, have have a ton of games here. To, I had to stop at uh, one of these guys. I guess Batman Forever. <laughs> that's a that's actually a pinball machine. Funny. Yeah, there's uh, Batman. The actual arcade game is on there, so that's cool. It's the original with uh, Joker, with the Joker there. So we're gonna go along here. We're gonna go along and find some other games on here. So just kind of wanted to kind of show you all the the games that are on here. I'm show, holding to the right, so you can see we're at 1800, and we're in the C's. And all we're doing is holding to the right. So, so th this is kind of the, the the cool feature. I wish I had more people here. I wish I had more people here to show uh, how we could play four people at the same time. So what I'm going to do is kind of do that. I'm going to jump in. Let's see to the favorites game, fighter game, fighters. Uh, I'm going to go to the Street Fighter edition. We'll do the Championship edition. We'll jump in. And what's really cool about this system is that you could you can adjust your volume on the game of the game that's on the wall mounted TV with your remote control. So be hiring the volume on this guy in a bit. So I'll bring it down a little bit. We're going to add a coin. These are the little coin buttons. We have one in each corner. You can hear that going. So I put a credit in. And I'm probably going to get my butt kicked on this game, but I'm trying to play with one hand here. <laughs> and again, you could raise and lower the volume. I'll just show you. We can, we can actually mute it, and you could you could hear a little bit of the game through the grill of the arcade, of the contact table itself. So that's pretty cool. So unmute it, come back to it. So th this is the the main feature. We're trying to show people here. We can go 
from one, I'm going to lower the volume on that for a second. You go from one, from the, you go two, two, uh, two players here side by side. You so you could play Street Fighter in that, and you could play a game of Donkey Kong here, head to head. So that's pretty cool. You, all, all this system is still in working order, so you can play head to head there. Um, so that's that's one of the cool features there. Two arcades in one one system working at the same time. Now the other thing is you see how the this is the actual hyper fighting version. And another thing that's pretty important is that the fifth and sixth buttons. You can see Ryu, as you're pushing the fifth button, is making his roundhouse kicks. So every button has a function. A lot of machines out there do not have that. They have a button missing a function or two, and it really uh, doesn't make for a good game. So, <laughs> so yeah, you can play two people at the same time. Uh, right here on this side, you can play two people head-to-head. -head on this end. So a lot of people sit up there. There's stools here and there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah and to jump out of a game, let's say you have you have a street fighter playing. You can actually do one of two things. You can hold the start button for uh, five seconds and jump out of the game. And this is where, where it gets a little more uh, uh, intense here where we kind of show you <laughs> or more descriptive and more uh, in-depth I should say. Where you go in, you can actually go into the system, and we have this ribbon cable that we've uh, kind of set up here. This ribbon cable, what it allows us to do is to exit the game. So it has, it shows a few things here. It says escape, setup, adjust. So what you do is you could you could escape the game and go back to the main menu. So that's pretty neat. And uh, let's say let's say we go back into again. Let's say let's say we go back into Street Fighter. Let's so jump back in that guy. Push a credit, or I don't, I don't even have to push a credit. I could just go in here and push adjustments. Do adjustment two, and what that does is that it brings up a menu on the screen. This shows input, general input. I gotta do the screen here. And what you do is you go down to your slider options, you do the slider controls, you push the start button to jump in. And what that does, it takes you to your master volume. So you could you could adjust your volume with that guy. You go down and adjust your brightness in your screen, your contrast, your gamma. You can stretch uh, your screen to, to whatever size you like. Uh, it's all built in, so that's really neat. And if you like, once you make all your changes, just go to return to game. You can go to video options, and it has just a ton of stuff. You can do uh, the cocktail mode, you can do the pixel aspect, the standard 4.3, which is it's on now. You go to the dip switches. You can change that up. You can go to uh, the difficulty level, you can change that down, which one thing you could not do back in the arcades, you change your own difficulty down to easy or super hard. Free play, you can turn that on and off. You can uh, flip the screen if needed. Allow continues, and, uh, and it's just demo the sounds. You could leave that on, so if the game's just sitting there, it could, they could have the demo plan, the attraction mode, that's what usually what it's called. So, there's a few things, a few options here that you can show. I wanted to show you guys, which is the dip switches, slider control, and the video options. I believe I might have already gone into that. Yep, did that already. Okay. Very good. So, so there, there's a few options you could do while you're uh, while you're in the game. So, so and you you don't necessarily have to use the controller. We usually only use this uh, pretty much when we're testing, or or if you're a advanced user, you could really jump in and do a lot of things with it. So that's pretty cool. Um, if it, it's just not something that's commonly used, it's just something we set up for people if they need it. So, lower this. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of little options. Now, another thing we have is, uh, let me show you this guy real quick, I'm going to do a few little touch-ups. Another thing we have here, I just slide down underneath here, uh, there's another volume, set of volume knobs. 
right here. So you go up or down. If you turn it down or turn it up. Um, this is the 17,001 board. So to, to make your ribbon cable, uh, so if you don't, don't want to use it anymore, and uh, you, again, it's more for like advanced users, all you, go, all you do is go up to this little dip switch thing here, the dip switch setting, zoom in on there. And you go to the left switch, which is the number four, it's upside down. You can't really, I don't know if you can tell, you can actually. This little button, flick it back up. And that turns off the ribbon cable. We usually roll it up and just leave it here on the floor. So, so and I'm gonna take the advantage of this time that we're here to show where this uh, HDMI wire, HDMI wire comes in. So this is where, where you can actually plug in your uh, wireless HDMI system. So we have, this is our little HDMI converter that goes from the board to the converter, back out to the TV. Uh, we set up a little air fan here. It has a little LED light to kind of light up the insides when it's dark. Uh, we have our power supply powering up our 16 one And when you're not playing the 16 one and you want to play the 17,001 on the system, what you do is you unplug this wire here. If it's visible on the TV, I mean on the monitor up top, you just unplug this guy and you plug it into place of this guy. And that allows you to show the image from this board on the monitor up top. So that's cool. The other thing you can do is adjust the volume on the 16 -1. Right here in this little pod. See this little orange pod right here? This guy says VR1 upside down here. Just turn to left and right and you get it going. And the other other thing is to, uh, I'd like to show on here as well, is to show the menu system to the 16 -1. Uh If you want to access the menu system and control all your uh, buttons virtually, turn to number four switch to the left that'd be in the on position and it would turn on a menu system so you can navigate and make any adjustments you like to your uh, to your 16-1 system you can see that we have an ATF power supply here supply here and it's, it's wired up to the uh, 17,001 so it's uh, one power supply to, to power up all that's really neat uh, another thing we have here is the audio cable so what we did for our customer here is we took an uh, audio cable so they could bring it out and they are supplying their own uh, upgraded sound system which is kind of cool. We kept it real simple for them so they could have a few extra outlets here and there to uh, plug, plug in a few extra little things they want to do. So that's really cool. Uh, left them enough floor room here and they should be should be more than happy with that. It's be working out pretty good. So um, the other thing is the audio here and if you want to unplug the wi this wire here you can plug both of them into a little adapter to plug into the sound system and it'll allow for both systems to run off of the, of the one sound system that would be installed in here so that's that's another cool feature on this, this, this machine here so I'm gonna come back up here and uh, go over some other stuff I think uh, we're pretty much done with this all the controllers pretty much Pretty, pretty much done here. So I'm just going to wrap that up and put that inside. I have the, the door. The door here, this actually this falls right in. I have a little key here, so that's pretty neat. And that's part of our skate. <laughs> it's not part of the machine. It's just uh, sitting on top of that. It allows us to move it around a little easier. So yeah, so there, there's the uh, kind of a tutorial there, so you kind of show what you can do. Oh, I guess while I'm here, I guess I can do, can do that. I'll switch over the uh, the the system here. Show you how that how that all gets worked out. So what we're gonna do is unplug this guy since it's not the the upstairs uh, the upstairs the um, image on the monitor on the table itself. You're gonna unplug this guy. Comes right here, right out of this, this VGA plug. You just unplug this guy, and then we plug the VGA cable that came out of the 16 one, and we plug it right into the same place where the other one that's going out to the TV went. So now that turned off the image on the, on the top screen, and I brought it down to the cocktail table. So now it'll allow us to play whatever games you like. So it's just pretty much changed up our image system. 
so now we could, uh, I guess I gotta insert my coin here. Turn down the light a little bit. And you get a game in a Street Fighter. So we have uh, set up right for you here. I have the, low, the volume kind of low there so it's not too overpowering while we're making the video. But it does go up pretty darn loud. So here's here's this guy here. He's trying to get a few hits in. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be... Oh, he's got fit on there. So that's what the, the machine looks like. And again, one of the one of the main features that we have on our monitors is that, that we have the ability to see them from anywhere in the room. Again, uh, it's we we pretty much the only company. We are actually the only company in the world that has them um, so close to the glass that we're able to uh, see them from anywhere in the room. Here, here I am standing about is that ten feet away here, and you can still see it. So see, you bring it down, you can still see that guy. It's still kind of dark, but as you get a little closer, you can see it. But uh, yeah, it's all, if you see it in person, it's a little different. But yeah, it's, it's nice and clear all around. Uh, so it's, it's nice, it has nice vivid colors. It's, uh, it's actually been up converted to a 1080i, which is the funny thing, because it's usually only 40i. So anyway, there's the, uh, there's, there's a way to change it from one to the other, and again, we could switch it back uh, just by unplugging a VGA cord and plugging it back into the other place. So that's really neat that, that we have the uh, option to do that. Now let's jump back out. We actually jump out to another game. So we see what these other games look like on here. So now I push the start button for five seconds. Since I turned off that dip switch in there, uh, now now I can navigate it easily without any other... Any other uh, little remotes or anything like that. I, now I navigate everything by, a touch, by touching all the buttons here on the uh, on the system. So we're going to navigate down here and uh, find ourselves another game. You see the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game? You can see it shows the real ROM check, real ROM uh, first screen, the startup screen. I'm just gonna go through some games so you guys could check out whatever games we have on here. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Again, the audio is not that great. <laughs> the only four-inch uh, Cherry Master speakers. When we do a, a upgraded system, it is pretty darn amazing. So here again, again, you would get get a pretty much simulator coin. Push the button for the coin, and uh, pretty much choose whatever guy you like. In this case, we have Leonardo. Leonardo. So I just want to show you a little bit of a little bit of this game or a little bit of gaming here. If you guys have any uh, requests on what the games, what certain games look like on here? Let us know. Um, another thing we have is again, you hold the, the start button for five seconds, it jumps right back out, and uh, that's pretty neat. It kind of brings you back up. We have uh, the Tekken. Tekken games, we have Tekken uh, 1, 2, and 3, I believe, in tag uh, tournaments. Some of them some of them work, some of them have a little bit of a lag because of the fact that you require your very own hard drive for each game. A lot of these games were just very uh, very nuts. They had a lot of a lot of power that they needed to run, make them run. So 
So let's see, I'm gonna find uh, another game as a Punisher. Let's see. There's some X-Men games. Let's see if we can find some other stuff here. I'm gonna get a the game in here real quick. show you uh, how the Asteroids Vector games, uh, some of the Vector games, they're kind of they're all black and white games. They come up pretty nice in here as well. This just reminded me of that. Some of these games take a little while to load up. Even though they're already loaded up, it's funny. It's the intro on it. Virtua Fighter. <laughs> so there's a few games on here. So yeah, there's 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 some games that we also have. Uh, I'm gonna jump out of here. I'm gonna press the wrong uh, wrong game. <laughs> I was looking for a different game here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the uh, was it the laser? Oh, that's right. I'm gonna show case. Okay, so how to uh, add games to the to the laser thing so oh, go. another thing that, let's see there's a few games in here that are really 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 hard to find um, and there's some great games in here that you just cannot find anymore in an arcade, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go to uh, some games. You know, one of the one of the things that we have is that the uh, the systems are just not so there's so much stuff going on it's it's hard to even pick one game, one good game that'll appeal to many people. You know. There you go, we'll do we'll do a Mortal Kombat game system here. So Mortal Kombat one. And while it's on, I'll also do uh I'll show you guys how it how to how to change it back into uh, v, what is it HDMI mode? So I'm gonna put the coin in. Press start. Find your guy. Get my butt kicked. <laughs> this. <laughs> Make sure I do the bicycle kick. Oh, too late. So we have that guy there, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and show you the uh, this side here. Gonna unplug this guy again. Unplug in the, the little VGA cable that's attached to the board itself, so that way they don't get mixed up. And we're just gonna plug that guy in real quick here. Again, right into the little VGA port there. Gonna find the right, right angle here. So, so just 
plugged it in, it already came up on the TV, so that's really cool. Now there's, you can still get sound out of the machine, but there's no image, unless you plug in the 16 one. So I'll show you how that, how that all works. You take the 16 one, go ahead and plug the VGA that was in the, in the 17,000 one, plug it back into there. Now you have the 16 one back on the top screen. So that's cool. So you get you have the, you can play one or the other. You can also plug the 16 one. You can play the 16 one inside the uh, the the HDMI port and HDMI out the 16 one, but the image will be on a vertical screen. So you, you unless you have the ability to turn your your monitor up, you'd be able to play. Uh, well, if you did that, you could actually play. Mario Brothers, or I'm sorry, not Mario Brothers, uh, Ms. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Galaga on a full, like a 70-inch screen uh, vertically, so that'd be awesome. Uh, you could actually do that if if you have the, the ability to turn your entire screen on its uh, side there, so it's pretty neat. So yeah, here, here we go. So again, you have the 16 one. Trying to go along here. Guess I need another credit. There we go. Got to hire the volume on this. So if you hear the volume come out of the, out of the speakers of the TV. So. And you can see the, uh, the game is really smooth. There's no lag. Um, it, it, it lets it run pretty darn. Pretty darn nice. And again, I'm playing with one hand. It's never real easy. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is so. This is the game. This is Mortal Kombat. There's a few other games we could do. Um, definitely going to go back to the to the, ver to the uh, vectors. I think we have all the uh, vectors on the classics. Here they are. Yeah. There you go. Arkanoid. Some games like that. Arkanoid going on. We have Arkanoid's, or I'm sorry, uh, Asteroids Deluxe. And just regular old Asteroids. So we'll play some uh, Asteroids Deluxe here. That's kind of cool there. Throw a few uh, credits in. And get a game started. Nice. <laughs> so it has a great background. Uh, they have an awesome rendering of the uh, of the game itself. So they did a great job. And it just sounds pretty nice. And then you have, you have some UFOs going along. Uh, Asteroids Deluxe was really, really a cool game to come by. Good, good graphics. Uh, definitely good, did a good job on, on it. Uh, and a little bit, a little bit of an upgrade, upgrade to the uh, original Asteroids, which, which was just black and white, had no, uh, no background to it. It was old school and it was real. Instant classic, so. So there's that guy. We have some centipede here. We can play that guy too. I'll show you what the centip what centipede looks like on a full screen, which is kind of cool here. I'm gonna put a credit in. Start her up. It's really hard to play <laughs> with one hand again, watching the screen and all the good stuff. But uh, yeah, so there, here's here's a real good idea of how this thing works. Uh, you can see that the, the joystick actually goes it has an eight-way joystick, so you can you can see the the guy actually moves. If I just do a circle, it actually does a circle. 
There's been a lot of questions about uh, do we require a rollerball? And our answer is no. You actually do not need require a rollerball to play these games. Uh, in fact, there's games like Arkanoid and that that uh, have their own uh, system here. And oh, let me just change my input and see what they did. <laughs> Change the input on the TV there. Uh, yeah, there's games like Ar like Arkanoid and uh, again Centipede and Millipede that require a rollerball uh, normally. That's what the original game called for. But uh, with these systems, you can actually play every game with your joystick, which is kind of cool. Which is really cool actually, um, because of the fact that you don't you don't need that rollerball and there's not really much room. If you if you do install one. The control panel has to be way out, and it's we have the, the entire machine has to be enormous. Um, we have we actually have to make it a lot bigger to accommodate that uh, the rollerball because you can only see about what three inches of it up top, but uh, the bottom of that thing is about nine by nine, and these control panels are about seven and a half, eight inches uh, long by uh, 21, 22 inches wide. So to have us accommodate a the rollerball in here would just be incredibly uh, crazy. We would need to make an entirely huge uh, control panel for that. So, I'm just putting the door back on here. So there's that thing there. Uh, I don't know what else to really show you guys. Just wanted to make sure that it went over everything. And uh, the back panel sometimes, the back back panel of the, of the machines uh, do get a, a sticker at times, uh, all by request of the customer. Uh, but yeah, overall, the top graphics, we have been able to make all different kinds and types of graphic tops. Gone from, from the Street Fighters to, again, the Galaga, Ms. Pac-Mans, we've done the Simpsons. Uh, we've done all kinds of tops. Uh, it's pretty much, I guess, uh, to make whatever we have to according to what the customer is looking for. So whatever you can think of, we can pretty much make, uh, including the, the graphics here for the control panels. These are all custom made. Uh, to fit our control panels, we've actually re redesigned them and fit the uh, style. So if you get a little closer, you can see um, that the, the style of uh, the graphic that we have here is the original overlay to the original stand-up Galaga. We just shrunk it down and moved around the little images and kind of created our own things. So, so we do a full wraparound rather than just a top uh, graphic over the top of the control panel. So it's kind of nice. Uh, we have our little aluminum clips. If you ever need to, you could you could, you could adjust the the uh, menu and menu. Uh, I'm sorry, the sharpness and brightness and all that good stuff by um, clicking off or flicking off these little uh, these little aluminum things. They're held down by a little screw underneath, a little Phillips head. So you take off all four clips. You can take off the glass, uh, holding on the, to the graphic so it doesn't slip off, and you can adjust the menus. Um, these monitors uh, are really versatile. They uh, they allow you to really do a lot of different options uh, and do a lot of different things. You can go to theater mode, game mode, standard mode, uh, ch change the hues, the tints, the sizes, the horizontal, uh, uh, vertical modes. I uh, can do a lot of stuff to them and with them, so it's pretty cool. I think I went over all the uh, little options and ideas here we have. Uh, some of the games, that again, we can't go through every game. I'd love to, but if we have any requests, special requests, let us know. And we could uh, definitely look into it for you, and let us know. We'll uh, we'll post a video up of your your favorite game. Thanks for watching.